Well, you know, first of all, anytime you play Cumberland Valley, you know, it's a CD Cumberland Valley, and every sport these days is a battle, and I respect those guys so much. I mean, they really, they're good friends of mine. They're, you know, we kind of um, share tape with them even. But um, we, um, we felt like we hadn't been playing that well the last few games. We scored closer than we wanted them to, even though we've been winning. And I think we put everything together tonight as far as um, poise, as far as defense, you know. And we know KD shoots, you know, over half their shots. Um, so we needed to, anytime she drove, we had to be in help positions. Uh, Addie gets three fouls early, that which helps. is a big help. Uh, was that part of your, did you want to go after her and try to get her in foul what? trouble? It just worked out that way. You know, it worked out more that way. Although I will say that we haven't been taken to the basket enough. So we, we, we took it to the basket a little more, and, and, and Addie, unfortunately for her, got a few extra fouls. Well, just was disappointed in the way that we played. I just didn't think that we came out with the enthusiasm and the drive that we should have had for a CD game. It's a big rivalry game, and you know, I thought that they, uh, they, they out-hustled us. And as a coach, that's what you're pretty disappointed in. Uh, well, we know that they're a second half team. They make great adjustments to what they missed in the first half. So we knew we had to, it was a new game. It was 0-0, so we knew we had to start out the same way we started. So, yeah, same attitude. I think Sam's poise tonight. She's, just, she's a sophomore point guard that never played point guard before. She's always been a shooting guard. She's a phenomenal shooter. And today she just uh, showed that poise of a, almost like a senior. So I was so proud of her. I thought her shot selection was was not good tonight. Uh, obviously, we didn't shoot the ball well. I don't know what her field goal percentage was. Uh, but when you're not hitting shots, you can't just go ahead and just throw up shots. And that's what you saw tonight. It was just a case of us taking, again, bad shots. Uh, we packed the paint. We knew she likes to drive. We put our de best defenders on her, made her force some shots that were really tough that sometimes she does make. But we just made her force her shots and we packed the pain in. Well, hopefully we learn from it, you know. I mean, you don't want to lose, but if you do, you can take a look at what you didn't do right. All right, and then you can fix those things and you can work hard and improve. So, you know, I think there was a lesson to be learned. One, we need to come ready to play every night. Uh, two, we need to take better shots. Our shot selection was not very good. And to beat the good teams, we don't want to go into uh, a game in the playoffs or something and we revert back to the way that we played tonight because it's not a formula to, for success. It's our biggest enemy is our patience on offense, so just getting the right shot at the right time was big for us. You want to say anything nice about your brother? I can beat him one-on-one. <laughs> <laughs>